everybody. Uh, welcome to the next episode of Cream Puff Weekly. Um, just so you know, I don't think I'm emotionally prepared for this episode whatsoever, but we're going to make it through it, I think. I don't know. I can't make any guarantees. All right, it's uh, Season 2, Episode 30, Coexistence. Hmm, very interesting title. for any students looking to join the Anglerfish Preservation Society, don't. Okay. We're still not sure some form of mind control is not get play, the flashback. Which means you have no control over your actions anyways. So if you're down by the lustic crater, humming and swaying in unison, don't beat yourself up about it. <laughs> good night, and good luck, Silas University. <laughs> What's that? Is this some kind Did of time warp thing? Joke? laughing at it? <laughs> if you can't make a joke about a giant evil fish god, then you don't understand comedy. <laughs> oh, Gidget. Really confused? I know you're in the midst of angsting about how you and Angel Pants over there are star-crossed, but that is no excuse for losing your sense of humor. Says the sociopath trying to kill me. Says the sociopath who hasn't killed you yet. You know how one survives for centuries? You've stopped judging. There's almost nothing in this world that's absolute. Take this whole Carmilla massacre at the Vordenbergs. Sit your tiny panties in a bunch. You mean how his ancestor loved Carmilla, took care of her, and in return she killed his whole family? Sure. If by ancestor you mean necrophiliac, and by loved, grave robbed her undead body. Any Vordenbergs Carm killed crawling out of that creep's dungeon had it coming. <sighs> Carm, why didn't you say something? It was humiliating. But, you know, I did kill his whole family, so... Bug ons. See? You'll be surprised what one can learn to coexist with. And, generally speaking, coexistence is better than I'm a fight so to the death. Ugh, you are such a utilitarian. It's gross. Nihilist. Existentialist. Absurdist at best. Oh, I will show you absurd. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're chasing each other around really fast. And Laura is smiling. What? Okay. Maddie! What was unexpected? What do I do? Tell me what I do. I think you've already done it, darling. Oh. Camilla, I need you to listen to me. I didn't kill those girls. Or the students you know. at the newspaper. That means somebody else did. Someone who would do anything to make sure Mother's plan still went through. Still went through. Me. I didn't think she'd kill me. Oh my god. No. Run. What? Run. I am going to hunt, torture, and kill you. It won't be satisfying if it ends too quickly, so you need to run. If you want to kill me, you're going to have to do it right here, right now. Fine. No. Laura, get out of the way. No, it's not her fault. Get out of the way. No, Maddie was going to kill her. She had to. Get out of the way. I would have told her how to do it. And you know it. You know it's my fault. Oh my god. God, she was right. You are a selfish, callow girl. And I am the fool who trusted you. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Three hundred years of friendship. Can you even imagine? We saw Electra in Paris in 1709. The ruins of Pompeii. We watched the moon landing. All those memories. All that life to end like this? For what? For you? Carm? 
Please be good for me, Carmilla. Change for me, Carmilla. She's better for Carmilla. Burn She's down crying. everything you ever loved for me, Carmilla. That's not fair. I didn't ask you for any of Stay away from me. She's the next one of you who comes near me. I swear to God, I will kill. Oh my God. for that at all. I don't know what to say. I'm kind of really, really heartbroken right now. Uh, not just for Maddie, but for Laura and Carmilla. Better end this before I start actually crying. Um, like the video if you would like to see more. Subscribe, obviously, if you want to see more. Um, I'm gonna go and cry my eyes out because that just happened. See you next Tuesday!